Hello. Hello! Welcome back to the channel. My name's Ash. I'm Ben. We are going to Walt Disney World tomorrow and it's literally the most exciting time of my life. This is a dream trip that I've had like since I was a kid. Obviously Ben has grown a huge love for Disney parks and this is truly the trip of a lifetime. I feel like we need to sit down and tell you about it because, ooh, a plane. Honestly, <laughs> this trip is insane. Like we, we genuinely, when we booked it, didn't think we could afford it. And it's actually happening. Obviously it's Halloween right now, it's September. Um, America loves to celebrate Halloween early. There's so much going on. We have so much planned. So let's sit down and we'll tell you about it. We wanted to give you the scoop on the trip. As you can see, Ben is literally six miles underground right now. This, like I said, is crazy. So should we break the trip down for them? No. <laughs> They want to know. I would want to know. If someone was telling me about their Disney trip and they actually weren't telling me what they were doing, I'd be like, uh, like what's wrong with you? We got a lot booked. <laughs> we, oh, oh, tell me about it. I need to file for bankruptcy. So you might be wondering, where are they staying? What are they doing? Every time someone else books a Disney trip, I'm like, where are you staying? Because kind of like, you know, I like to judge. Like, are you doing an off-site moment? Are you doing an on-property moment? Like, are you flitting about doing like a little, what's it called? Where you go to multiple hotels? Park hotel hopping? I don't know. Basically, are you bougie or are you basic? We're kind of in the middle. <laughs> we are doing two entire weeks at Disney, staying at Disney's Caribbean Beach Resort, which is crazy. My choice. It is your choice. <laughs> I wanted to do Coronado Springs, okay? I was like, a little bouge moment, but like several thousand cheaper. And Ben was like, but the Skyliner, but Pop Century wasn't good enough. Um, <laughs> then, because we booked so early, Disney actually had an insane offer on where you got a $250 gift card and $1,400 in dining credits. So we basically got like $1,650 for free. So with that girl math, I was like, let's book a stay at Universal. So we ended up booking the Hard Rock at Universal, which is one of their premier resorts. Also my choice. Also your choice. <laughs> I just plan it. I just This is my trip. I plan everything and this one just shows up and transfers me the money. If you know anything about Universal, you will know that their premier resorts include Express Pass Unlimited. This can run you up like hundreds of dollars per day. So the price that we actually paid for the hotel and the park tickets was about the same price that we would have paid if we wanted Express for each day of our trip anyway. So we decided to add on four nights at the Hard Rock at the end of the trip, which is crazy to me. I didn't even know there was a Hard Rock Hotel at Universal until we were really looking into it. This has been something that I've wanted to do since I was literally eight. I remember being sat in Dawson and Sanderson with my mom when I was a kid and I was like, I wanna go to Florida. And she was like, no. And I was like, I wanna go to Florida because I could see the Hulk. Like I could see all of Islands of Adventure. It was not long opened, I don't think. And obviously we never went, duh. Recession, 2008 and all that, you know what I mean? So, but there is also some really exciting things happening during this trip. Firstly, like I mentioned, Halloween is going on. We have two nights booked at Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party, and we also have two nights at Universal's Halloween Horror Nights. One of those nights includes Express Pass, which means that we can get in every single house. I am thrilled. <laughs> also terrified, the Insidious one looks horrific. Yeah. Now you might be thinking, oh, they're done, whatever. We're not flying first class, don't worry. No. Um, I wish. We also have a day in Bush Gardens in Tampa, which is a bucket list theme park for me. There are some incredible rides there um, and some incredible animals. I feel so insanely grateful that we actually get to go on this trip. Like this, like this, if eight year old Ash could understand it, like he, his head would explode. And I think like with Ben, Ben never really knew much about the Disney parks because I think you were a Disney fan before you were a Disney parks fan. Yeah. I was a Disney Parks fan before I was a Disney fan. I used to be obsessed with Roller Coaster Tycoon and Roller Coasters and theme parks. So with that being said, two weeks at Disney, four days at Universal, Dan Bush Gardens, Mickey's Not So Scary, Halloween Horror Nights, we fly in the morning at 11 a.m. with Aer Lingus. What a trip. And we're in the Radisson Blue Hotel. We are in the Radisson Blue. We've actually got an executive room um, with a runway view, so I'll show you a little bit if you can see it in a minute. We're, we're on the top floor. We are on the top floor. <laughs> There's also the executive lounge, which we will take you to a little bit later on. Yeah. We're gonna go meet Ben's parents downstairs because they very kindly took us to Manchester. Should have been a two and a half hour journey. Turned into a five hour journey. Yeah. But I went to the Trafford Centre and went to Sephora. So like, it's all good, you know what I mean? <laughs> Let's head down and meet your parents. Well, we'll show the view. Then okay. we'll head down. Let's go. So I don't know if you can see right now, but there is planes literally everywhere. We are at Manchester Airport or the Radisson Blue. Like I said, I will give you a room tour in a second. Um, but yeah, we've stayed at this hotel. Me and Ben have stayed here once. I've stayed here three times, I think. So this is our second time together, my fourth in total. Really good hotel. Never had a bad experience apart from once. Um, really decent. A little expensive, but you know, worth it for a treat, right? Just before I do give you a room tour, it's also worth mentioning that Ben and I are actually celebrating our 10 year anniversary together this trip. We're doing it a little bit early. We would have loved to have done it in the end of October, but let me tell you, it is drastically cheaper to go at Walt Disney World in September than it is October. I'm gonna assume because everyone wants to be in Disney World for Halloween. But I'll tell you, the Halloween stuff runs from the end of August to the end of October. So like, if you can get the time, 
go in September. Obviously it's very hot over there at the moment, it's very wet over there at the moment, which I'm sure we'll find out. But I'm just so excited about this trip. Like, honestly, my heart could not be happier right now. It still hasn't fully sank in. Like, I know I'm going on holiday, but I don't quite think I understand that I'm about to get on a nine hour flight over the Atlantic to Florida to meet Mickey Mouse. Like, that's kind of where I'm at with this. We also have so many insane dining reservations, which once again, we'll fill you in on. Crazy, 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 and I'm so, so excited. Anyway, I'll give you a room tour, let's go. So walking into the room, you have some huge wardrobes here actually, which is kind of amazing. Like, I love how, oh my God, there's lights in the wardrobe, Ben. Like, it's lit. One second. It's lit. Travis Scott, you've got a little chair, you've got a little bedside table, you've got a room service little plate thing, a little poof, a desk, a runway view, not every single room has a runway view, I will tell you that, you do have to pay extra for it. Um, but I got like a really decent deal on this with my booking.com genius thing. Humongous bed, like, I wish I could tell you how big this bed is, it is humongous. I think it's the same size as in the other ones, it doesn't look any bigger, but it is a big bed. Also, my Sephora bags, we love them. Open that cupboard. There's freaking lights! Ooh. I love Halloween. Oh my god, it's freaking bats. <laughs> I should probably give them a bathroom tour as well, shouldn't I? Oh my god. I love Chipotle. The Holy Bibble. The Holy Babble. The Holy Babble would be a good, like, comedy show. Okay, so I'm gonna give you a bathroom tour because, like, why not? You know what I mean? Um, big, big sink. This is actually way nicer than the standard rooms I have. This is very bouge. Um, we've got a little, like, big pull-out zoomy mirror. Like, look at that. Oh, actually, do I flip it? Put my thing down, flip it, then reverse it. The crapping station and a huge shower. Ooh, I love that. <gasps> okay, slay. Right, me and you, we're gonna head downstairs. Are you reading the Bible? Anyway, we're gonna head downstairs, go meet Ben's parents for a drink, and then we will show you the executive lounge a little bit later on. We decided to go downstairs and meet Ben's parents. However, the bar was completely full, so we were like, okay, and they were like, we're gonna go upstairs. I was like, yeah, no worries, we're gonna go to the lounge. So we're gonna go to the executive lounge, so come along with us. I actually have no idea what this is like. What I do know is I think most of it is complimentary, so exciting. Yes. So I'm living as quiet as I can. Um, I should have brought my little mic that I have to clip on, but um, I came to the lounge. Everything is like complimentary, so I've got a Coke Zero. Um, and I'll say it's got like, crazy, crazy views of the runway, which is amazing. There's Ben. <laughs> and then some cool, cool runway views, which I love. The Emirates A380 used you in, so I'm gonna text Ben's mom because she's also got a runway view downstairs. Um, there it is. Oh my God, there it is. Can you see it? Mm -hmm. Whoa. We've just come back from the lounge, it was very, very chill. We only literally had like a Diet Coke and that was it. I'm not really a big drinker, neither is Ben. We are actually gonna head to bed now. I'm gonna go in the shower, obviously, do my skincare, everything like that. And we will see you in the morning, ready for travel day. I don't know if Ben wants to pop in and say hi. Ben is currently shirtless, so there's a hand. See you in the morning. Oh my God. Good morning, vlog. Hello. I am awake. I'm not feeling the freshest. I didn't sleep. Ben's currently sitting in bed. It's about 6.30, roughly. Um, so I have to get up. I've done my skincare, all very greasy, hydrated, ready for the flight. Um, so yeah, let's head to the airport. Okay, we're heading off. We're all good. Are you excited? Yes. Are you anxious? Yes. <laughs> we're gonna have the best time. I'm so excited. Gotta go check in. Well, it's already done online, but we need to go and drop the bags off. I'm hoping bag drop isn't gonna be too bad. Um, we are going a little bit earlier than we should, so hopefully we can get there, drop things off, go to security, nice and easy breezy, early, let's go, let's do this! Florida! Florida! Made it to the airport. Hello. 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 Bag drop is done, we checked in like to the self-serve thing, really quick, really easy. We were the first people to be served other than business, so let's go. Security was literally so easy. Didn't have to take anything out. Nice and easy time through security. Oh, WH Smith, classic airport staple. Look for some snacks. Do you want to look for some snacks? Do you want snacks? Do you want snacks? Oh. Uh, I don't know why I asked. <laughs> <laughs> through duty free. I don't know if I'm going to get anything. I probably won't. But the smell of perfume is really strong in here though. Like, duty free always smells like perfume, but I'm like, whoa. Okay, we decided to go and get some food. Ben is hungry. There you are. Hello. So we came to San Carlo. I would get my camera out, but it's in my bag at the moment. So we're filming on the phone. I'm going to do the smashed avocado, I think. What do you want to do? Full word sandwich. It sounds like a full English breakfast in bread. Pretty much. Exactly what you want before a flight. Yay. <laughs> so I went for sourdough toast with avocado and ricotta and poached eggs. Ben went for a massive ass sandwich. Huge. What's in it? Like sausage, bacon? Sausage, bacon, egg. Jesus. I'll give you the feedback. 
food was good. But it was really decent. Um, I did leave quite a bit because I'm stuffed, but it's good. Yeah, it's been announced, so time to go. Finally, we've been in the airport for way too long. Okay, we are boarding. Yes. Ah. We've just boarded. Um, I'm gonna be honest, the plane is like not a vibe. It's tiny, but we'll figure it out. Like, can I like, move this? Oh my god, you can. <gasps> okay, should we have a look at the in-flight entertainment? A quiet place. All of us strangers. Deadpool, Despicable Me, Inside Out. Oh, they've got some good stuff then, really. Ooh, okay, I'll check that out later. Here's something that's really bad, though. Basically, the headphones are actually like a dual jack, you see. Um, so the only headphones that are actually compatible with them are the Erlingus ones, which is so disappointing, so I can't use like any other headphones with this. Back on the phone. We are moving. arrived and the second that I found out that spaghetti bolognese I was like oh my god that is so much food and that's a lot of food but I'm really excited so we'll let you know what we think of the food I'm hoping you can hear me this place is really loud um so we'll figure it out but it looks good like it looks decent for playing food so we'll find out we'll update you you will not be able to hear me but they came around with ice cream they feed you on this flight like honestly they're fed us so much we got pretzels and then all the fun like the spaghetti bolognese the bread and a lemon meringue loose thing and now ice cream like we're about halfway through the flight the food like they really do feed you we are descending ben's got like some really sensitive eyes and i don't know what's going on with them but um, the screen's saying that we've got 23 minutes before we land, which is good, so I'm hoping that we can just get through nice and easy. And then we'll figure out what we're doing from there. We're nearly down. I can't just borrow it up. Oh my god. Okay, how rough do you think it's going to be? It's Not pretty, really it's pretty it's bumpy. Right. Where should we sit? I don't know, how rough is it going to be, how rough is it going to be? Is it like... Smooth? Oh, it's not too soon. <laughs> we arrived, which is great. The flight was bumpy, but it was fine. Um, we're going to go to immigration now, get out of the suitcases, and I'll update you when we get to Caribbean Beach. It was so easy, we were actually kind of scared because my friend had that, like, a horrid experience where they were like, where are you staying? Like, asking her like, the exact address and stuff. No, very, very easy. Took it off fingerprints. It was all good. So I need to go get an Uber. We made it. Clearly it's raining. Finally got to our room. So... First time in a Disney World hotel. Alright, just take that. God, honestly, there's so much. Like, like, look at the state of my mouth. Uh, wow, oh, it's lovely and air-conned. So we're finally in the room. It took us a little while, and obviously it was raining a lot when we landed. Megan, who checked us in, was so nice. We have a little mermaid room, which is very, very cute, so we thought we'd give you a little room tour. So Ben's gonna show you around. Am I? Yes, be oh. the tour guide. Hello, I don't know what to say. Well, this is a fifth sleeper room. Well, you can say that. Right, so... <laughs> you get basically the facilities to sleep five people. So yeah, you can sleep five people in here. Two in this bed, two in this one. Yes, that pulls down to a bed, but I'll show you in a sec. And there's also this one here that pulls down as well. But this is really scary. Is it gonna like break my laptop or something? Oh my God, that's really scary. Should I move my laptop? Uh, I mean, you could just- like, That doesn't look safe. Well, this is also a bed with like a really cute little thing on the wall. Oh my god, yeah, it does like literally pull out, look. Oh, so smart. Bed. So cute, we love that. Oh, hang on. What? Oh, it's flounder. Oh. Little flounder.
found her asleep. That's so cute. Moving over here, we have the Disney TV. Obvi, we love the Disney TV. It gives you all the park hours, current temperature, everything like that. What is going on? Ben, what are you doing? I didn't do that. Okay, that wasn't me. Then we have the bathroom. So the bathroom is actually separate from the like little wash room. Wash room? Is this what this is? I don't know. Either way, you get two sinks, which is really cute. Um, a bog, we love a toilet, and a bath. Honestly, I can't imagine myself using this bath because it is so shallow, like me. But this is a wardrobe so you can hang stuff up. I do think we're probably going to utilize this space. Yeah, definitely. I'm hoping that's an iron down on the bottom. Should we have a look? There's an ironing board next to it though. Steam iron. Slayed. We are on our way to go and get refillable resort mugs. What a mouthful that is to say. Refillable resort mugs. You pay like 20 odd dollars for it and you get to refill it. So, slay. Nice. Very time. So, we've got the beach. Beach, beach. Ninky manjaj. Okay, we came to Calypso Trading Post, which is the main shop in Caribbean Beaches, like reception. We've got a bunch of Halloween stuff. Ben's first lit up a second this all right. Mm -hmm. I think Ben is getting a Caribbean beach. Little Mickey and Minnie pin. That is so cute. Resort mugs acquired. I got green one, Ben got orange. Very spooky. The guy in there was really nice. Um, he used to be a flight attendant apparently. I forgot his name. I'm really bad at forgetting people's names. I hear bugs in like the, the grass and I'm like, ew. We got some chicken strips and fries from Spygrass Grill. Give it a try. Oh, that was crunchy. It's crunchy. It's actually really nice. <gasps> Let me try one. Um, mm. Yeah, small one. Oh, they have it. Really good. Whoa. Chicken tire. First Disney chicken tender. It's really nice. Oh, wow. It's like, you can tell it's fake chicken, like processed chicken. It's real chicken, but it's just processed. But it's like really soft and flaky, flakery. Hi, look, it's my flakery. No, I'm really good. Okay, we've just came back from food. Those were actually some really good chicken strips. I will be honest, I've eaten so much food today. More food than I've eaten in a long time. And I feel a little bit worse for wear. So I'm not gonna eat any more food for the foreseeable future. <laughs> I'm kidding. Food and wine's on it. I'm gonna gorge myself on it soon. But the chicken tenders were good. The chips were good, as you can tell. My brain is stuttering. It's like pulling the plug. Time to mush. It really scrambled eggs, do you know what I mean? Like it's giving smooth, smooth brain. Honestly, I'm so tired. If you think it's now 8 p.m. here, we have been awake since 5.45 UK time. So that means like five, six, seven, no, eight, so nine, 10, 11, 12. Yes, yeah, so it's 1 a.m. back in the UK, roughly. I need to shower. I need to go to bed because tomorrow we have to be up early for Magic Kingdom. Yep. And we also have Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween party tomorrow. We're going in for an early entry and then we're staying in the park until the end of Not So Scary. That's the plan. Whether or not we will stick to that plan is a different question. However, that is the plan. So we will see you tomorrow. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like. Follow all of us on Instagram. I'm acting as if there's six people all here. Of us. I mean, there is one person watching me right now. Goodbye.